So I was totally thinking that I could absolutely 100% be like a voice co- voice coach or you know a, a musical coach, something like along the lines of uh, what that Simon Callow guy did in, in American Idol, you know, um, really like help people along musically. Uh, I know next to nothing about uh, what it takes to be a musician. Like I, I don't, I don't know how to play instruments. Uh, I definitely cannot sing um, very well. And, but like, I'm pretty sure that if I just like got up there and and listened to somebody, like I totally, you know, coach them, you know. How hard could that be? Like I could be convincing enough to to just say a bunch of nonsense and then people would, you know, somebody would believe what I'm saying, right? Like, oh, that's hideous. It sounds like you just threw a box of pots and pans down the stairs. You know, that, that could totally, like, work because... It's basically just like, you know, feeding people like a bunch of nonsense. Not that Simon Cowell fed people nonsense. He probably knows what the hell he's doing. However, I could just like feed people a bunch of bullshit, feed people a bunch of nonsense, and then like package it in a way that it like sounds good. And they're like, oh, yeah, maybe I'm not like really good singer. Like maybe I have to sharpen my pitch because that that would be like a big thing i'd be like oh sharpen your pitch and they'd be like what the hell is that oh just sharpen it don't don't play lollygagger and that you know like it would be magical like i i could grow an enormous business based on just feeding people maybe truth maybe not that like they could they could totally maybe advance their career maybe not but i like my intention is to help them and i mean well like you know i'm not like out to like destroy them i mean well you know so like people would probably resonate with that like oh He means well. He's trying to help somebody. Right? But like if if I if I truly meant well, then I would say, Oh, you know what? I I honestly have no idea how to be a voice coach. I have absolutely no idea uh, how to help you in your career, in your music career. So by meaning well, I would say, I do know this person and they know a shit ton about music. So here, I'll direct you over to them. You know, that's meaning well. That's having uh, your best intentions for somebody. It's not to uh, stand in front of an audience and say a bunch of stuff that you can't prove to be true or that you have uh, no idea what you're saying is, is even real or not and you're passing it along as truth. I mean, that's, that's not exactly meaning well. <laughs> because when it comes down to it, there's, there's truth. And it's, it's, it's right in front of your face all the time. And it doesn't need to be defended. And it doesn't need to be, you know, avenged. And, you know, truth doesn't really need anything. It just is and there's nothing that could be done to contest truth because it is true so nobody needs to like you know be you know get behind something and be like yeah that, that's true because and then give a long list of reasons why it's true no the truth doesn't need to be defended it's just true no matter what you either choose to see that or you choose to believe in all the lies and illusions that 
are surrounding what is smack dab in your face as truth. Uh, so let's let's look at, 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 at an example. Like so, take my grandfather for instance. He's in his nineties. Um, he's lived an incredibly hard life in terms of uh, what it what life really is. You know, he he was brought up in an era where a lot of people uh, lived through like the Great Depression and wars and and a lot of things. Uh, that, you know, really hardened somebody and, uh, you know, lost his father at a young age because, like, if you, you know, back then, if you got, like, a splinter or a paper cut, like, pff, start saying your goodbyes. Like, that's pretty much it. You know, there's there was no uh, modern medicine to keep people around as long as there is today. And, you know coming from his point of view, coming from the life he lived, he, if I asked him for advice on something, he would give his version of what advice would be if he were living it, which is like, you know, save all your nickels and, you know, don't trust anybody and work your ass off and, you know, just slave away and, and provide for, for your family and it doesn't matter you know sacrifice everything right but that's not the truth that's what he perceives to be true because that is what he was surrounded with his entire life and he didn't heal those uh, blocks and upsets that he's acquired and, and he relived those patterns to that was his truth. He, he didn't, he wasn't able to see what was real, right? So this is like this phenomenon of breaking free of all of those patterns and being able to see what really is and choosing to see what's really there instead of, um, just believing in in what someone else is telling you that is like woo, you know like portals and and uh, living in another dimension and uh, uh, lions gates and power braids and like all this stuff that like isn't really helping you on your journey here on earth Right, and and somebody might mean well by uh, trying to help people by relaying some kind of information that they can relate to, but it's not really help because they're not directing someone or people to where they can actually receive help on their journey and actually receive the the things that they desire. You know, they actually receive their twin flame actually receive like an amazing life, a phenomenal life, to create something that is like, that just blows their mind, that it's so cool. Wow, I'm having such an awesome time. I can create this, this like joy and amazement and happiness in my life. And I can have it all. But instead... Their ego permits them from seeing what the truth is because your ego will tell you anything and everything that it, that it can in order to keep itself relevant. And so it'll say, "Oh yeah, believe this." Oh, I your your ego resonates with lies. Your ego resonates with bullshit. It resonates with illusions. And it convinces you that that is true. And it convinces you of those things because if you start believing and start seeing the actual truth, you'll realize that you don't need your mind. You don't need to believe what your mind is saying. And it's scared shitless that you're not going to need it anymore.
You know, this could be very, very simple. Life can life is very, very simple. Can be. You could create that. You know, make that choice for yourself. Make the choice to see the truth for what it is. Choose to see it. Choose to see what's real. Don't choose to see the facade. Don't choose to see the made up crap because your mind is telling you that it's real. Because it wants to it wants to be, it doesn't want you to kill it off. It doesn't want you to get rid of it. Right? So if you're ready to take the next step into uh, receiving coaching and create uh, this wonderful and very, very real life for yourself, uh, I offer a 15-minute consultation uh, in regards to that. And you can also uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you next time.